I'm a certified technician. This is a pry tool and the screwdriver I'll be using. They're in the description down below. I've already pre-loosened my screws and loosened the panel so it comes up easily. I am a certified technician. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more great content. Okay, so first thing I would do, uh, I would make sure it's unplugged and I would detach the battery. We don't want any power running into the motherboard or any of the components when we're I when we're removing them. And now that it's unplugged, I'm gonna go ahead and take the battery out. As a technician that has removed thousands of motherboards in my lifetime, I am going to give you some tips and tricks so you can do not break your motherboard. Okay, so the battery is now out, essential. First thing to remove always, battery. Now, next thing we're going to do is I have this uh, anti-static bag here because uh, I ESD is what we call it. Um, also ele electrostatic discharge, what that stands for, can damage your components. So putting them on a regular surface, surface where there's static electricity and things like that uh, can damage your components. And as you can see, I just pulled that ram out, set it inside the bag to protect it from ESD. Uh, and then like so, take the other one out, hold it by the edges because the uh, you know oils in your fingers can be damaging to components. So make sure anytime you're holding any sort of RAM, solid state drive, any sort of component like that, I'll hold it by the edges. And then go ahead and put it in your little baggie. Uh, you can get these baggies on Amazon. I have a link down below uh, that you can get it. Now this is your CMOS battery right here. I'm gonna leave this plugged in. You can also unplug it. The only problem with unplugging it is it will cause your computer to buy, do a BIOS reset and you'll have to reset your settings in BIOS. So I'm gonna go ahead and start unplugging different little components, my Wi-Fi card here. Um, and like I said about the BIOS reset, if you accidentally take it out, well then I have a video in the description on how to set the date and time if you get an error from it. Uh, see these little wires attached to the Wi-Fi card? They're really hard to reattach, so I like to just take the whole thing and set it aside with the uh, two little wires still attached. Now I'm gonna unplug all the ribbon cables very gently by the tab. Um, and see these little flaps? One by one I'll remove them. Be very gentle with them. They are extremely easy to break and it will ruin your life if you break them. Fair warning, okay? So gentle with those little flaps. Flip them up. I'll give you a close up in just a second of them. Here we go. As you can see here, really gentle with them, really gentle. Uh, a lot of moving, removing components in motherboard is not about strength as it is so much about finesse, right? Doing it just right with accuracy and precision, less about brute strength, which can be hard because sometimes you feel like, oh, I'll just pull on it and it will work. No, that's not what you want. You want to do it just right. So I'm removing all these cables here. Now we're going to move on to the fan. And what we're doing is removing all these, can uh, uh, these components layer by layer because as you remove them, uh, you know, then your motherboard becomes freer to, to come up. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to skip a step because keep in mind, uh, motherboards are very unforgiving. If you add too much pressure, they just will break. So I'm going to go ahead and pull here. As you can see, it's stuck. So what I'm doing is I'm doing, instead of doing a lot of pressure, I'm just wiggling it back and forth until it comes loose and breaks free. Uh, well, breaks free is probably a bad term, but it, it comes loose from its little uh, port there. And that's how you do it. Like I said, finesse, not brute strength. This is the heat sink. It is fragile and it is essential, so you want to be really careful with it. Uh, you don't want to pull, yank. It's made out of copper and it bends so incredibly easy, so you have to get it up very gently. If there's any sort of resistance, be very careful. So I'm taking off all the screwdrivers here, and what can happen is the paste underneath can kind of cause a little bit of it to stick almost, like a seal, so you might want wiggle to little, wiggle it a little so it comes up. Now, uh, this is a good time to examine your thermal paste. As you can see, this is nice and wet. If it was dry, I would suggest cleaning it off and adding some fresh paste, paste to help uh, with uh, any sort of overheating problem and keeping your computer cool. So these other two, Right here, I'm gonna remove. Okay, pull it out. Now I'm gonna remove this little strip. So you wanna remove all these layers carefully 
Uh, also, make sure you don't miss anything. You feel any sort of resistance when you're pulling off a component. Instead of pulling harder, resist the urge to do that. What you want to do is examine why is this not coming off? Why is it not working? It is a slow process and that is what I would recommend. Also, if you're worried about forgetting how to put this all back together, record yourself doing it. Um, also, if you get stuck, HP does have uh, manuals for some of their models that show you how to take them apart piece by piece. So keep that in mind, that is an option for you, is looking at your, your manual to, to see you know, uh, how to do it. Now, as you can see here, this is a very common thing. All right, I go to pull it up, I meet resistance. Okay, I see some wires here, that could be it. I'm pulling it, I still have resistance. So instead of just pulling harder and bending the motherboard, which can break it, examine why it's not coming up, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna move the cables here. This could be causing it, although it feels like a bigger, more resistance to just this tiny cable. And that's because I find that, oh, it is right here. See this right here, this long ribbon cable I missed. This is causing the problem right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just unplug it here and pull up. And now my motherboard's free. So as you can see, you no, know, I, I, I tug and I move it, but I very resist the urge to bend it. Bending it is the death of a motherboard. You want to brick your computer, then you want to bend, yank, and pull too hard. If you don't want to do that, you do the opposite, right? As you can see, it came up. Um, and as a report later on, I did reassemble this, and the computer works fine. Showing so Because as I, like I said, I've done thousands of motherboards. I could do this in my sleep. So that's how you do it. You have any questions, any problems, any snags you run into, leave it in the messages down below and one of our technicians will get back to you. If you found this video in any way helpful, like, share, and subscribe for more content. As you can see, all my components are safe in their ESD bag, static free, and I am good to go.